Hello everyone, it is me Vegeta T23 and welcome back to my new what if. Today we're talking about what if Vegeta landed on Earth. In the last part we left off with Kakarot asking Vegeta to join him to beat Frieza, a powerful tyrant who is conquering planets for profit and enslaving residents to become one of his men. Vegeta accepts and they start training. Even Piccolo comes over and joins in on the fun. Kakarot tests Vegeta and Vegeta even though he's weaker he still puts up a good fight. We then see them going to training with the help of Bulma who creates a gravity machine. With it, they get Frieza Saga strong, mind you know, and all four of them are around 3 million power levels. With that, they head to one of the planets and the rest of the Z fighters decide to follow. They make a mess on one of Frieza's planets and when they hear Frieza is on Namek, they head to Namek. When they come, they start hiding at first, but the Saiyans aren't pussies and so they go confront Frieza. Kakarot fights first and pushes Frieza to his final form. With the recap out of the way, let's continue the what if. Frieza starts pounding Kakarot. Kakarot is barely holding on, but doesn't let his weakness get to him. His Saiyan pride is fueling the battle. Vegeta asks if he can help, but is quickly brushed off by Kakarot. Kakarot soon falls and then Raditz and Nappa team up on Frieza. Kakarot is mostly disgusted by the fact they're teaming up, but lets it slide. Vegeta gives Kakarot a sensu bean, and when Kakarot heals up, Kakarot speaks up. Listen Vegeta, you're the prince of our race. If we all fail, you're the only remaining Saiyan. You need to beat him and you need to give it all you've got. You have to destroy him Vegeta, even if it kills you. Kakarot then joins in with the Saiyans, and so does Vegeta. Piccolo, Trunks, and Krillin all get in a fight too. Frieza then increases his energy, going about 40% and starts evening out the fight. After a while, Frieza gets bored of it and increases his power level even more, and drops everyone. Even Vegeta down like flies. Kakarot then gets full of rage and foolishly attacks Frieza, but even with his rage boost, all he gets is a hole in his abdomen. Everyone is speechless, but Kakarot speaks up anyway. Vegeta, brother, Nappa, destroy them at all cost. You're the only hope for us Saiyans. With that, Kakarot passes away. Raditz steers up at first, but then starts to reveal the ultimate Saiyan power. He screams as the golden aura appears, and eyes go white. Raditz goes into a false Super Saiyan. With more rage than anyone has ever had, he attacks Frieza and starts tearing him apart. Frieza stops for a sudden and says, How is that possible? Your legend is fake! How can this be? Raditz can't control his power yet and continues to beat up Frieza. His hair is occasionally turning golden and his rage is burning more every second. Raditz then breaks out his true Super Saiyan, but before he can attack the Emperor, he drops down due to strain and damage his body has gotten and falls to the ground unconscious. Nappa sees this and then does his last straw, releasing all the energy he's got, but it's pointless against Frieza. Vegeta is the last one standing. Krillin tries out his new attack which he has created on Frieza, and that is the Kienzan of course. He manages to cut off Frieza's tail. With that, Frieza is completely livid and fires a Kiai at Krillin lifts him up in the air, and destroys him. Vegeta is speechless. His rage is getting to him. His transformation is about to begin. Frieza is looking on, then decides to power up himself. Vegeta is too confused on Krillin's death to notice Frieza's powering up. Before long, Frieza goes full power and has to attack Vegeta, but not before he bursts out the legendary Super Saiyan transformation. The aura itself stops Frieza in his tracks. I can give you a choice. Either leave this planet or die. You're the one who's dying, monkey! Frieza fires a blast directly towards Vegeta, and Vegeta just gets rid of it with one hand. Very well. No more changing your mind. I will make you suffer. Vegeta goes right towards Frieza, and with just one punch, he manages to deal a lot of damage to Frieza. Frieza, even more livid the Super Saiyan exists, he rushes towards Vegeta and starts fighting him. Vegeta simply dodges every punch and kick. If you think attacking brainlessly, you're more stupid than I thought. 
Frieza is losing energy faster and faster. Then he tries the Kienzan on Vegeta. Vegeta just starts dodging it easily. And now you're copying others' moves, huh? You truly are a brainless cum stain. Vegeta then creates his own Kienzan and cuts through Frieza's Kienzan. Before the tyrant could react, he's cut in half. Vegeta cuts him up even more with it until there are pieces of him flying around. With that, Vegeta prepares a massive Kamehameha and finishes Frieza once and for all. Vegeta goes in his base and still mourns the death of Krillin. Bulma starts comforting him saying that there are Dragon Balls here and they can revive him. They then take all the Dragon Balls and try to summon Poranga, but unsuccessfully. They then realize that they need someone who can speak Namekian in order to summon him. They first ask Piccolo, but he can't. So they find Nail. Nail summons Poronga, and the first wish is to revive Krillin, which is done. Then he's brought to Namek, and that is done as well. The third wish isn't used. Bulma then calls everyone on Earth, and to wish everyone who died by Frieza back to life. And the wish is made. Kakra and the Namekians are brought back to life. They then pack up and leave Namek. With that, Frieza is dead. They have a safe trip back to Earth, and once they arrive, they go and celebrate it. They then sense a large power level and they head towards it. They recognize the ship almost immediately, but not the one who comes out of it. We see it's King Cold. They all recognize the similarity of the key and pointed out that he could be Frieza's father, which Cold claims so. Vegeta then steps up. Well. I wouldn't mind killing you too. Their battle is about to begin until an unknown boy comes in a Super Saiyan state and starts attacking Cold almost immediately. Everyone is weirded out to who that boy is. With that, we're leaving things be for now. Thank you for watching. If you think my streams are bad, then click dislike. But if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you'd like me to cover your idea in the near future, comment down below. And as always, peace out.